Hello class, hello friends. This is Ryan Douglas. Uh, I'm in our shop room at Wahoo Student Apartments. Uh, we're located in Stadium Village at the University of Minnesota. My final project will be a how-to instructional video on how to cut a mailbox. Um, since I work with a lot of residents, I cut a lot of mailbox keys for them, especially during August when most of them move in. But we do get a lot of move-ins during the winter and spring months as well. So I do routinely cut mailbox keys. So uh, I'm pretty knowledgeable in this, and I've cut keys for other office locks as well. So um, I'm also filming this on a GoPro, so and it's kind of got a head strap to it. So I'm just going to put it on my head right now and show you my point of view. And just bear with me for five seconds here while I kind of strap this on. Cool. Okay, so this is the machine. It's called a Kaba Ilko Manual Key Cutter. Uh, their website is ilko.us. Ilko is spelled I-L-C-O. So you're more than welcome to check out their website and see any of their cool machines and technology they have. So um, I'll just give you a brief overview of the actual device. Um, the saw is, it's a little hard to see because I'm looking right at it, but it's this gold piece right here um, then the on and off switch is where my left index finger is currently just a little bit to the left of this handle here okay the adjusting um, the part of the machine where you'll line up your already made key is to the left and of course I already said the saw is on the right so this is how it works I chose we have 313 units in the building that's my boss, Rob. How's it going? Doing an instructional video for one of my classes here. Okay, so... Oh, I, we don't mind you, man. Um, okay, so, we, like I said, we have over 300 units in the building. Um, so, I randomly picked unit number 420. Um, I will put it on the left here, where the original key is supposed to be made. Okay. And then, this is the blank key. This is what the blank key looks like. It has no grooves, so therefore it is the blank key. I will put it on the right. So this is what it looks like from overhead. So the way this works is I will put, oops, this one's a little bit not centered, so let me just unscrew this. You want to make sure you have these perfectly centered and perfectly tight so you don't have anything fall apart. Um, so the way this works is the adjuster on the left will follow the grooves exactly along where the um, this key has already been made. So you can see the grooves that are on my finger here. It will follow along as I'm cutting. Okay? Pretty simple enough. Okay? The key on the right will be cut by the buzz saw as soon as I turn the machine on and will get cut with the same exact grooves. Okay, so without further ado, let's get it started. So I turn my machine on. There goes the saw. And you'll hear it kind of screech a little, so sorry if the audio is a little loud. Okay, we'll cut it right along. Okay, so that was just the first cut. And now we'll get the more detailed cut. Go as slow as you can, follow along the grooves. Just like so. Perfect. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So we'll turn it off and kind of compare the keys. Okay. So this is the key that we keep in our uh, container just to uh, always have for when a resident moves out and turns their old key in. And this is the new key. And as you can see, it is cut perfectly. Um, one thing to note is that there is a small groove on one side of the key. I'll zoom in here so you can see. Um, this groove is located on the bottom of the key on the other side that you cut on um, and you have to make sure that these grooves are on the same side when you cut the key because if they're on different sides the key won't even go into the keyhole. Um, and the last step of the process is to turn the machine back on. 
on the right here, there's a little brush. I'll turn my light here so you can see. Oops. There is a brush right here where my finger is. Ouch. <laughs> so there's a couple of extra pieces of metal kind of lying around on the key. So um, the best thing to do is kind of just brush the key up against the brush here so you can kind of get those remaining parts away. Um, and therefore a resident doesn't have to deal with some extra parts. Um, once that's completed, you turn the machine back off, turn your light off, walk back over to our key box where we keep all of our keys. I'll prop this up here a little bit. Okay. And put the key back where you got it. All right. It's been a pleasure speaking with all of you this semester and I hope you have a good rest of your lives.